All right. Well, I have some WTF news coming for you out of Florida. Now you might be going, oh, Florida man, here we go. You're not wrong. No. Christy, a couple of weeks ago, you brought us a case, uh, a kind of a WTF moment as well, of a man in Las Vegas who was detained, who had the same name as a criminal that had a arrest warrant out for him who sat in jail for, I think, five days. Six days, yeah. Six days. Well, guess what? The same damn thing happened in Florida. Good hell. This is the craziest thing, and it makes me so mad because I don't understand how these things happen to people who absolutely don't deserve this, you know? Right. So I want to show you a picture of this gentleman and tell you a little bit about what happened to him. Because uh, his story, I think, really, really deserves to be told. So, this guy right here's name is Leonardo Silva Oliverius. Or Oliveris. He lives in South Florida. Well, apparently, there's at least two Leonardo Silva Oliveris. Oliveris. I'm going to do it wrong every time. <laughs> who live in South Florida. And they look fairly similar. One of them is quite the criminal the other one is not and has mm. no criminal record whatsoever oh dear so the fugitive leonardo was charged with burglary and grand theft in 2017 and he's wanted for a probation violation out of palm beach county well another man with the same age and similar appearance ended up in the broward county jail for five days after being arrested on January 20th. It wasn't until they ran his fingerprints five days later, five Oof. days after this man has sat in jail for nothing, when they finally realized they were dealing with a case of mistaken identity. I can only imagine how many times they were told that, you know, right. but they're not listening to him because he's the criminal. Only he wasn't the criminal. Oof. 